everyone, uh, my name is Yosef Adunya Kasai. Today I'll show you how can we enable Op API for Azure Function. Uh, let me first define what Azure Function is. Uh, it is a serverless solution that allows us to write less code, uh, maintain less infrastructure and saves a lot of money uh, because we will not be worried about uh, deploying and maintaining servers. The cloud pro provider, that is uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, will provide us the, with up-to-date resources and uh, we need to keep uh, our, our application runs uh, without having any, any worry. So uh, Azure Function is uh, defined like that. And then when we come to OpenAPI, it is a specification. Uh, originally, uh, it was known as Swagger. Um, it is a specification for machine readable interfaces uh, or files that describes, produce, consumes, and visualizes restful uh, web uh, uh, services. Uh, so the question is, right now, when we are writing any Azure Function, uh, it is not uh, within OpenAPI uh, specification standards. How can we enable that standard? That's the question. So there are steps that I will, I will, I will explain to you. Microsoft recently released uh, OpenAPI extension uh, for Azure Function. Uh, the uh, extension can be found with this uh, link, uh, microsoft.azure.webjobs.extensions.org.webapi. When you click this one, it will automatically launch uh, the uh, browser. Let me bring here. And then this is where you can uh, include uh, this uh, extension within your project and then enable uh, based on the uh, specification. So there are different ways that you can include this uh, extension. The package manager is one of them. That may CLI is the other one. And or you can include uh, package reference. For this project, I will use uh, this one. You will copy this and I will show you how can you do that later. And then once you copy that one and then include all the attributes uh, or the metadata for um, open API, uh, it, will, it will automatically uh, work. So the first thing that I will do is I will create a new um, um, function app and then I will add a new HTTP trigger and I will start and test my function app without open API. After that, I will stop that function app and I will add this extension and I will enable OpenAPI metadata and I will show you how you can automatically access your uh, Azure function uh, through uh, OpenAPI specification that is through Swagger. So uh, let me uh, go directly to uh, my uh, desktop and then I will uh, create a folder. And this one is Azure function, sorry, Azure function OpenAPI, sorry, Azure function. Function OpenAPI. Come on, function, open API, example. Here we go. Now, once you open this one, the first thing that you should do is you have to open uh, this in Visual Studio Code Editor. There are different ways that you can open uh, this specific uh, function in uh, Visual Studio uh, uh, Code Editor. The first one is you can uh, right click and then open uh, with Visual Studio Code. Uh, sometimes uh, you may not uh, see uh, this feature because when you install Visual Studio Code Editor, uh, you may not enable uh, that that property. So I enabled it and it is there. The other option is if this is not found in here, you can open this uh, folder in command prompt. So as to open, just type CMD and enter. It will automatically open your uh, folder in command prompt. And then over here, you can put code space period or that and then enter. It will automatically uh, open Visual Studio Code Editor in reference to your uh, folder. Now the next step that you should do is you have to open the terminal, go to terminal and click on new terminal. Once you are in there, the next step that you should do is you can initialize or you can create a new uh, function app project. And then what you should do is function, sorry func, f-u-n-c. Okay, and then initialize in it and then give the name of the function the IOB uh, function function uh, let me just uh, make sure to type IOB my company name the IOB function over here and then followed by space and then dash dash dot net at this time what it does is it will create a project okay but it doesn't create a project with the uh, function so this is creating a function Azure function as you can see here Create Azure Function project, but it doesn't have any uh, C# -sharp class that is associated to this Azure Function. So as to uh, create a new uh, HTTP trigger, because uh, Azure Function can be uh, triggered with um, with multiple events. One of them is HTTP trigger, and then so as to create a new trigger, what you should do is make sure to you are in that folder, in the folder where you create the Azure Function, that is the IOB. 
so uh, once you are in there you have to type fang new followed by dash dash you have to give the name of the uh, trigger let me just put iob http uh, trigger this is uh, this is a uh, this is on uh, the, 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 the the name of the function that you can access it will be used uh, for routing as well so uh, you have to specify uh, this trigger once you do that one the next one is you have to specify the template what do you want it to use what trigger do you want it to use so i will use http trigger here you go now enter automatically it will create a class and then it will create a sample uh, http uh, trigger uh, http trigger uh, uh within within this function as you can see here you see i have http trigger that's the name of the triggers templates that i'm using this is the name that i specified in the in the uh and in the name where where i specify and then this function is actually the sometimes the, the this red uh, swiggle will come until it recognizes the namespace that are included in here so if you close it and then open it again it, sometimes it will be gone now let me let me wait and then in, in few minutes it will be gone so this function is like that as you can see here this function supports us both get and post method and it doesn't have routing now the 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 problem domain that we are solving is it how can i route this passing a parameter for example in here uh, this is this doesn't have any routing but it's requesting the uh the query the, the name from the query string you see it requests a query a name from the query string now i wanted to be sure that name is passed that's the first one the second one is i wanted to expose this to different consumers uh by which they can see what parameter that they can pass and then you can you can perform that action now let me just uh, show you let me run first this project and then it will be uh, straightforward for you guys to uh, understand so once you create this one what you should what i should do is i have to say a funk and then host and then start it will automatically start this function look at here and then at this time it will open port number 7071 and then it will uh, launch and then it will tell you oh you can access it through get and post method you can use either postman uh, or because this is a really simple uh, project and then I can come here and then launch in, 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 in my browser and then in here as a query string you see when I pass a query string for example here I say name and then Yosef Kasai when I put like that and then enter it will automatically uh, bring that name from this query parameter how it gets look at here as you can see here what I have is I have a request that query string this REQ is coming from this HTTP request so this request has a query string and then it's looking for a name if it founds the name it will say hello followed by this text otherwise we will display this one so we are not doing about a function because this is not our scope this is not our our objective right now now okay this is good but how can i enable open api uh, in for this specific azure function so as to do that first you have to step this uh, stop this as uh, function let me kill this and then let me open another terminal as i mentioned earlier in my in my presentation you have to go to this uh, uh specific uh, uh browser and you get package and then open the cli that cli and copy this once you copy that one make sure to go to the actual uh, project that you have and then paste in here when you paste there it's it shows that okay dot net add package from this uh, package manager and then it will automatically uh, add that pack that that, that um uh sorry let me see yeah i know that this is really good this is really good 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 uh, uh error that that uh it, that comes in right now because right now you see where where i am in is the in the main folder that doesn't have the project the project is under yob function so what i should do is i have to be in yob folder here you go now i will paste that uh that's it add package now when i do this it will automatically add that package perfect now it adds this now let me minimize this guy the next step that i should do is i have to include the uh, metadata so make sure to put above the function name you see this function name is this one so above the function name you have to make sure to include this oh sorry i closed it okay yeah here you go now i you make sure to include this one and then the next step that i should do is i have to include the namespace for this one so as to include the namespace for this click in here 
control and period and then it will bring lists of namespaces that you can include so i want to use a namespace by using a using keyword instead of including in here so i will use a using and then we'll automatically look at here all these are gone now i have to come to here and the parameter location i have to specify that okay now the next one is http code this is from system.net and then i have to include that one. and then one more thing then here i have to specify this look now when you come here uh, as you can uh, as you can see here let me just uh, uh, minimize if, for for you guys to see okay hold on let me just minimize this guy okay here you go now as you can see here the first one that we have is the uh, open api operation and then you can specify the name of that operation the the, the name of the operation uh, should be um the uh, get name that's the name of the operation and i'll show you what does mean okay and then there is a summary get name and then the description is a description so i will run and i'll show you later but the next one is okay you see i specified the parameter name the parameter name the name of the parameter this name is the name of the parameter is name where it gets that name from from the query string if you wanted to get from another location like for example a cookie header pass you can specify that but for time being i wanted to use only query now is it required there is a true required what is the type of the data type that i'm accepting and then it is a string and then there is a summary and then there is a description the visibility is open visibility important now okay now the uh, other ones are not really uh, important is not within within uh, this this um uh, uh what's called scope but as you can see here when it is successfully done the status code that is coming in uh, within the body is okay that is 200 and then the context is in the, in the form of text plain plain text and then the body type is the type of the text the the, the type of the uh, data type that is returning is a string and the summary is this, this summary now once i do this one i can run it again so so as to run as i mentioned to you thank host start okay at this time when i enter this what it does is it will compile to build and then it will open different passes one for the previous pass as you can see here this is the previous pass that we have in addition to this it opens the swagger api okay and it opens with extension as well so you can use different op op options to uh, open uh, the the, the uh, this one now let me just go back to my um, uh, previous request so when i request it's the same so there is no any difference now the next step that i should do is i have to come here where is that let me just um, minimize this guy. okay here you go perfect now when i come here let me close this guy cancel okay now when i come here i can open this swagger see the swagger is there perfect now let me just come here and then put this right there okay the swagger ui to open the swagger ui look at here now let me make side by side and then i'll explain to you what does it mean okay let me just bring this guy here perfect let me minimize this way okay this is the operation the operation is get name as you can see here the operation to have to open this one okay uh, the operation is you see get the name this is the name that's the, the operation this is a description that i have okay now let me just maximize this guy you see get the name is there and then the parameter is name look at here the parameter is name you see the parameter and then it it is required because i specified it is required when it is coming from from the query string you see all this specification is there where it is coming in from the query string is it required yes what type what is the data type that i'm inputting it to string even if you are putting the numbers it will automatically cast to string and then it will perform then the rest as as it was now let me come back let me go here and then let me put let me try it out look here i can say yourself can say it will be the same exactly the same but look at here but this one is with swagger as you can see here okay it's returning that is okay the 200 that is the code and then the detail is hello yourself see the body in a string format and then uh it's just working really fine now the, what if i want to add edge in here so what i should do is i can add additional parameter in here or if i wanted to change this name by edge this name by edge i can do that let me show you now here okay the name of the parameter is edge 
perfect and then the parameter location is a query string it doesn't matter and then the uh, type of the uh, parameter that i'm inputting is an integer okay and the summary is the edge description is the edge visibility leave it like that okay now the return value all this will not will not affect now when i come here instead of name i can say edge and that this one should be edge as well and then the data type should be int look at it and then i have to cast this to integer i can say int that pass here you go perfect now i can put this within this parse method here you go now it passes now once the you get that one let me just remove this guy now instead of name i can pass h and then instead of hello your edge is okay uh, then this is true successfully